Anyway. Welcome back to Squawk Box. Eight sleep mattress technology is used by CEOs like Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk, as well as pro athletes to improve their sleep fitness this morning. The company launching its next generation sleep pod. Joining us right now are the co-founders of this company, Eight Sleep. I'm Matteo Franchetti and Alexandra uh, Zatarain, co-founders of Eight Sleep. I should uh, say up front that I am an owner. I bought the first of these mattresses. By the way, I bought a couple of them. Uh, it used to be cheaper. I bought them during the pandemic. Yep. And it changed my sleep forever. It's called Eight Sleep because it's supposed to help you uh, get eight, sleep, uh, eight hours of sleep. I unfortunately don't get that many, but I'm trying to make my sleep better. For those uninitiated, I don't know if you could explain to everybody. I could do it because I, I did it, the, you know, I use it, I sleep on it every night. What is it that you're doing? Yeah, so today we are launching Pod4 Ultra is uh, the fourth generation of our product, of our best-selling technology, and is a mattress cover that you can install onto any mattress and it will improve your sleep. The way we do it is by regulating your body temperature at night, and we keep adjusting that based on dozens of biometrics. Things like your sleep stages, uh, bedroom temperature, outdoor temperature, heart rate, and uh, HRV, heart rate variability. I'm gonna help you even more. It saved my marriage. I mean, I, I don't get a commission for this, but I just want everybody to know. For now. Yeah, but no. I, no, what it does though, for those who don't understand, both sides can be different temperatures. So okay. my, right, my wife runs hers like a freezer. I mean, honestly, it's so cold. If you ever were to wake up uh, TMI in like hot sweats, never again, never yep. again, because it's, it's regulating your temperature. And we were talking about this yesterday, it's my alarm clock in the morning, so I don't have to wake up yep. uh, there is my wife in this case, because you can make your side vibrate or heat up, which actually or wakes you up. You out. It could freeze yes. you. I guess yes, you could. It can. Does anybody wake up trying yes, to freeze themselves? Yes, I actually use it freezing, freezing myself to wake up because it depends on what temperature you had in your bed before right. the moment of wake so up. So can you explain this piece of it? Maybe just because the audience, I, I, I just, I feel like I know too much about it. But the idea that you need to change the temperature of your body to get deeper sleep, Correct. and how it's modulating your temperature to capture deeper sleep for longer. And I will also say I use an aura ring, people know that too, and I've tested it. I actually do get deeper sleep now as a result of this thing. Yeah, of course. So we all have a biological clock, right? And so it's substantially called a circadian cycle. And your body temperature changes during the night. So when you hear people saying you should sleep at 68 degrees the whole night, that is wrong. It could be right for one hour, but not for seven or eight hours in a row because your body temperature changes. So what eight sleep does is based on your biometrics and your sleep stages, we keep changing the temperature for you to optimize your sleep performance. There was plenty of clinical evidence that temperature was the biggest factor impacting your sleep quality before eight sleep. So we didn't reinvent the wheel. We're just helping your body to do what it's supposed to do for best. The best. By the way, one thing I never understood, are you measuring my temperature as well on the bed or no? We measure the temperature of the bed, but everything is calibrated based on the bedroom temperature, outdoor temperature, and your biometrics. And for the audience, it's now expensive. It's more expensive than when I first started buying these things. What's the price tag for this thing? It starts around $2,500. Um, and then it depends, there are two versions. There is the Pod4 Ultra that will also help you to stop snoring, or there is the traditional pod that is focused okay. on temperature. Can you explain that? Because uh, we don't have that one, and I do snore, and my wife asked about it. So how is yeah. it gonna help you stop snoring? Yeah, so today we are introducing Pod4 Ultra, which uh, comes with a base that sits between your mattress and your bed frame, and it will automatically raise your head while you're asleep to stop you snoring. It's not gonna wake you up? Nope. While you're asleep, automatically and slowly raises your head and it goes down when you stop snoring. How, how, how does it get the readings for the biometrics? So we use these sensors that are embedded in the mattress in covers. In the mattress? Yeah, in yeah. the mattress cover. So the mattress yeah. cover so is I'm pretty thin. So, so I have an app yeah. that actually, you know, I always show you the data off the ring, but I have an app that has the same data and I would argue in some cases, Shows better. I don't know. I like the data sometimes off of it better because it, it shows that my heart rate's lower and stuff like that. I don't know if it's right or, or not, but um, so it, it's tracking you while yeah. you're sleeping. I thought that whether I sweat has to do with my own whatever I've done that day, or like if, yeah. honestly, if I've yeah, had alcohol. like some alcohol yes. and then I, ha I go through a couple of shirts, I didn't know that would stop if I was not 
if my uh, drink all you want, we'll make more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it, the, it'll moderate. It'll uh, change the temperature to a cooler setting, so I don't. Yep. What? Really? Yes. So there's definitely an influence from what you're doing during the day. If you're working out too late, having a heavy dinner close to bedtime, if you're drinking alcohol, hormones, of course, for us women, it's much more complex. Even outside of perimenopause and menopause, we have a lot of variations in the temperatures that we need in every week of our cycle. So that's all of this information that we're trying to gather. And we're going to continue expanding how much we get to know about you in order to give you better sleep. So in real time, we can manage that temperature to optimize. What, is, what am I striving for? Sleep where I'm not dreaming and I'm so deeply, what, or, or which is the le, which is the dream sleep? That's REM? That's, that's rapid? That's right, yes. Which is more, which is better for me? Or do I need yeah. both? You need both. You need deep and REM. Deep is for your physical body, so physical recovery, and REM is substantially for your brain to recover and reallocate the information. Like, like neurotransmitters or something. Yeah, we don't even know exactly what it's doing at this yeah. point, right? Yeah, that is the phase when, when you dream, yeah. and the brain is reallocating all the information from the previous day and reorganizing them in, in your mental library. Do you think we're all going to, I mean, do you think that all bed manufacturers one day are going to have Cooling, cooling tech. I mean, there's cooling technology in beds, but this is a whole other level Correct. of it. Yes. Yeah. I, we do believe that ultimately it's what every human should be sleeping on. And it's not just about the temperature regulation that we give you today, but it's the long-term vision of how your bed will become a preventative health device. It knows so much about you. It makes yeah, sense What else that can the bed do in the future, you think? Well, you know, today Matteo talked about how we're launching our snoring mitigation through the bays, but that is powered by an algorithm that detects snoring to start with, without any wearable. You don't need to remember to charge anything or to touch right. any button. No, no, that there, no. I noticed that the, the that the app is now showing. It unfortunately will show whether you're snoring because <laughs> yeah. it's listening it, to if, me. If you're snoring, is it apnea or can it just be snoring? It could be. It could be so, snoring. It could, yeah. it, it, what? It could be snoring. It's, the last it's not the, just snoring. It might not be sleep apnea. It could be it's snoring. It could yeah. be sleep apnea. So that is kind of what we think about the vision for the companies. Today we can tell you you're snoring, but eventually the same data can be used to foresee whether you're developing sleep apnea and whether you should go see some, Which is also, some medical intervention. Yeah, like so